Should you start a photography business? Hi, my name is Nate Jones and this is Business Idea Breakdown where I break down businesses and at the end I give them a score between 1 and 10. Any business over the score of 8 is a business I would start. Go check out my channel and hit subscribe. I've been posting about how to start businesses, should you start businesses, and just straight up entrepreneurship talk uh, talks and videos. Go check it out. Okay, let's dive into this wedding photography, uh, special event photography, and family photography. Basically, this business is really cool. When I was reviewing it and I was talking it through um, with my wife, because I talk through every business with my wife and just a sounding board, and we really go through and we dive into it. And when we dived into this, it was really interesting. Go, so go ahead and stick on this video until the end and we'll see what the score is. Okay, so I'm gonna evaluate this business on scalability, profitability, how easy it is to start, the time requirement, the challenges, and is this business sellable? Which is, in my opinion, the most important thing. If you're building a business that isn't sellable, then why are you building it? Okay, let's hop in here for the scalability. Can this business be scaled? This business is a little bit different than other businesses I've reviewed. When I think about scaling a photography business, I had to think of it completely different. And what that means is, a photography business at the beginning, you're not charging that much. You're trying to get market share, you're trying to get clients, you're trying to get people to use you even though you don't have that long of a track record. So your price point is a lot smaller. As you scale your business and grow and have clients and history of people booking you and then your calendar starts filling up, what you naturally wanna to do to scale your business is you wanna raise your price. Maybe the first year when you're doing wedding photography, you might only charge $1,500 or $1,000, but as you scale that um, business and your demand goes up, you need to raise your price to five to 10,000 or even higher as your calendar and your demand fills up. So this business scale-wise, basically how you scale this business is you can continue raising your prices and um, because your value of how good you are should be increasing over time as well if you're continuing to learn and provide great content. So it's not as easy in my opinion. I don't think you can hire three or four photographers because really photography is an individualistic business, meaning that that individual um, who is really good at what they do, it is really hard to hire somebody and teach them how to do that without them just kind of starting their own photography business. So um, I think this is an individual business and you can scale it by raising your price point. Uh, is this business profitable? I think starting out, when I was doing the math, you need a computer, some software, and a nice camera. I would say probably the floor of this business is gonna be around $3,000 upfront cost. That's for your equipment. And um, you know, for a wedding, if you're doing a wedding, if you do, do a wedding and, and, and you're charging really low, I think it might take two weddings for you to basically pay for that. And, and if you're doing family shoots, I mean, you're probably not gonna charge anywhere than anything more than 500. So depending on what you do, you can turn a profit pretty quick, quickly. I would say within the first five appointments that you've booked, you probably could turn a profit in this business. I really like this business because once you have that upfront um, expense, you really don't have that many expenses down the road. Now, you wanna get a little bit better equipment, maybe a better lens, slowly upgrade, but you don't have any fixed expenses like a lot of the other businesses I've reviewed. A lot of these other businesses, you have to continue to buy different trucks, you have to continue to buy different equipment. This business, you know, cameras don't really go out of style that quickly. And if you have a nice one and you take care of it, it can last you a long time. So I really like the profitability of this business because I think year three and four, when you really start hitting stride in this business, your profitability is through the roof and you can really make a lot of money doing this. Okay, how easy is this business to start? I would say that if you don't have a background in photography, this is gonna be a little bit of an uphill battle for you. But that being said, um, YouTube, what we're on right now is the greatest resource for photography and any business that you can think of of starting. There's so many people that are on YouTube that love giving their time, that are in this business every day, and um, I would say you could learn so much from those people who would love to share their expertise on photography. Now, if you're somewhat used to photography, I think this is an easy business for you to start because a lot of people, um, some people are picky about their pictures, but really they just want somebody who makes their pictures look better than what they could do alone because they can't take it. Everybody loves a family photo, dressing up the kids, dressing up the wife, and going out there and taking photos. They And, and there's a demand for it, and um, I really think 
that this business can be easy to start once you learn the photography side. Okay, so time, how much is this time? Um, the cool thing about this business is that you can run it part-time or you can run it full-time. If you run it part-time, you can kind of pick and choose uh, what weekends you wanna work, what events you wanna do, and um, which is really nice because if you want a side hustle, this is a great side hustle because you're practically getting paid um, when you're actually working and if it's a hobby and something that you like doing, then this is a great business for you. Uh, if you wanna work full-time, you're gonna have to realize that your weekends are gonna be your weekdays and your weekdays are probably gonna be your weekends. What does that mean? It means, hey, weddings are on the weekend, they're not on the weekday. And if really this business, it seems like the money is in wedding photography, not in family photo, unless you just wanna side hustle and not make that much money, which is, hey, there's a market for that. But wedding photography seems like this is where you can make the serious money. So you're gonna to have to work on the weekends. But as far as time, the nice thing is there's wedding seasons and then there's downtime. So you can grind during the season and then you have a bunch of time off in the off season. Uh, what are some challenges in this business? I think getting clients at the beginning. You know, I think you're gonna be putting a lot of content out there, offering your services on Facebook, you know, getting a website, putting your name out there and doing so much upfront legwork where a lot of people quit. And this is like every business is that at the beginning, it's really hard. You're not seeing that much improvement. You're not seeing that much I mean, I remember when I started my business, the first two months, I was like, oh my gosh, did I screw up? Did I, why did I do this? And then now it's like, man, if I don't even try, I'm gonna grow my business. And it's because the word of mouth and all that. So this business is the same way. You're working your hardest to get one client at the beginning, and then every client after that gets easier and easier and easier. You start getting referrals, your name's out there. Who do you use? Oh, I use so-and-so, I use so-and-so. That happens more and more the more weddings you do and the more families that you work with. So at the beginning, I wouldn't turn down anybody. I would do every wedding photography. I would, and, and I would do it just to get my foot in the door, even if it was inexpensive and cheap, I would get content out there and get in the door. That's gonna be your biggest challenge. Also, your challenge after you've got a pretty decent client base that you're pretty busy is adjusting that price. Like I said before, the profitability in this business is, or the scalability in this business is being able to raise your price as you get more talented, as you get a higher demand. So adjusting that price will be a challenge because you might have to say no to some events if people don't wanna pay you what you're worth. But that being said, always get paid what you're worth and it's better for you to say no to something if you believe you're worth more than what that is. Because in the long run, you, know, you don't want to work more hours for the same pay if you've gotten better. Know your worth and it's gonna be hard for you to scale past that because you're gonna say, well, I could go make 2,000 and do a wedding. But if you really know you're worth 5,000, then you're, you're almost wasting your time when you can put your name out there and potentially do a $5,000 wedding when somebody calls you on the last minute. Okay, last thing, is this business sellable? This business is not sellable because it is an individualistic business. That means that a lot of photographers are known by their name. You can have a different, you can name it something different, but a lot of people, they wanna deal with you, the photographer, the owner, the guru, right? Creating that brand for yourself. I think this business, I always say name a business, don't name a business after yourself, name it after something you can sell. This business is not sellable. I would name this business somewhat about yourself. Um, maybe your name, uh, maybe a name that you kind of associate with, but this business is really hard for you to sell because it's individualistic. Now on a rare occasion, you can sell this business. I know of a real estate photography business. They do uh, photography for all the real estate listings in our area, and they have a really great business model. I don't know who the owner is. The owner could switch tomorrow and nobody would know. That business can be sellable. It depends on the value that you build in that business to whether it's gonna be able to be sold or not. So, what's my score for this business? I gave this business a 7.9 out of 10. The reason I didn't give it an eight is because anything over eight, in my opinion, needs to be a business that I can at least sell. So this business, I can't sell it, so I can't give it an eight. But that being said, a 7.9 is the closest thing you can get to an eight. So this business, great business. If you're thinking of something to do on the side, if you're thinking of potentially doing a business on the side until you do it full time, it's a very safe bet. Um, for the low upfront cost and the low ongoing cost and um, the amount of reoccurring kind of revenue and getting your name out there is huge in this business. So I really think if you put in the effort at the beginning and you don't quit, 
you don't give up, you can be successful in this business. Go check out my other videos, like and subscribe if I gave you value today. Thank you so much.